everyone, so I am finally getting around to tackling Alistair's room. As you can see, I'm going to do a, a basically a before because it's a bit of a tip. We're still in the summer holidays, we've got one week left and I just can't leave any longer and he is just not phased by it. So um, yeah, we just seriously need to go through it. Um, I literally haven't touched it with my cleaning stuff. Um, I haven't touched it in a really long time. It's just very cluttered and think nothing really has its proper place. Everything's just all over the place. Um, I do really need to go through his Lego. He really doesn't play with his Lego as much anymore. So we need to kind of discuss what we're going to do with that. Because obviously it takes up quite a lot of room. Um, and then over here, again, just go through books. And his bed's still here. He is actually getting a new chest of drawers. Um, he will actually have the one that I have next to my bed my bed um, once we do our room because that's next on the list. Um, so yeah, that's why I've not replaced that yet. And then his wardrobes is from IKEA. You can get with doors on, but I've just left it open. Sometimes there's like pros and cons to that. I do like the look of it, but then you can kind of see the clutter or a mess if it is messy. Um, and then over here, we just have more stuff. The organisation of school clothes and normal clothes. And then we need to really tackle what's at the back of there. Up there is not too bad, actually, with games and their organised craft boxes. Um, as well as have a look under the the head is there before i'm gonna go through it all i hope it's not gonna take me too long but i'm just gonna get a speed on i've got a bin bag i've got a recycling bag and i probably have like a charity bag as well so starting out alistair's room i tackled his desk um so first of all picked out any rubbish that i could find recycling stuff um, and then i pulled out the basket that was full of all sorts of random stuff you know and they just have that box just full of just everything whether it's old broken toys random soft toys um yeah even old food wrappers all sorts so i sorted through that it was a bit of a hodgepodge got rid of a few things that he really didn't need or didn't play with and then i just organized it a little bit more got rid of all the uh, dust and bits of food at the bottom and then just piled everything back in the basket itself is from home sense um, i think it was like six or seven pounds a few years ago um, I love HomeSense, they have so many really nice kids sort of storage ideas. Um, I also went through this little basket here, it was full of mushy monsters which my little sister actually gave him um, that he still likes playing with. Uh, then I tackled his desk, as you can see it was sort of the desk that you just can't even use because it was just so overflowing with stuff. Again I just sieved through lots of things, got rid of any bits that were broken. Then I started on the shelves, went through any books that I thought he wouldn't use. Um, yeah, he, as you can see, he has got a lot of Star Wars things and books. And I asked him before I went through it, and I said, keep any books that you, you know, if you want any Star Wars books, keep them. And he just doesn't, he's just not really into Star Wars anymore. So I ended up putting them to one side, giving the desk a good wipe down. Um, it was very dusty, got the Dyson out. Uh, picked up any bits that needed picking up and then reorganized it. So then I tackled the Lego section. Again, this was kind of an overflow of a desk. Stuff, paper, all sorts everywhere. I just tried to organize things. Um, he had so much paper and so much like old school books. Um, again, he just didn't want to keep them, so I ended up recycling them. Um, a few things were kind of out of place, so I put them back. And yeah, it gave it all a really good clean and put his bits of Lego back in the drawers. For wiping everything down I'm actually using a damp cloth uh, the majority of the time and then also a little bit of the method uh, wood 
I think it's a wood polish. It smells like marzipan. It's really, really nice stuff. I would recommend it. Um, and then I pretty much just tackle the windowsill, his little bedside table. Again, it was just a bit dusty, a bit overcrowded. And then I just went through a couple of the um, sections in his wardrobe. Again, just use the Dyson. Um, it's so handy that it's obviously handheld so I can just move it around really easily and change the adap adapters to it. Um, I tackled his books up on his shelves. Um, again, I just went through them, reorganized them. Then onto his wardrobe, his clothes are actually fine. I go through his clothes quite regularly, but as you can see, he had tons and tons, or quite a few of dressing up outfits which had grown out of him, and I ended up just giving them to a local nursery um, because they will take them because the little kids will love them. Um, and he's just not into dressing up anymore either. So I shuffled that around, and then me and Violet tackled his books, which she quite enjoyed. Uh, the picture frames are from IKEA and I just wiped them down. They were rather dusty and again, sorted through the books that I thought he would keep, um, he would like to keep, and ones that I know he has outgrown and Violet had outgrown. So um, yeah, just rearranged his bookshelves, which I actually really enjoy changing them up. Um, we've got very, very autumnal sort of books out, very kind of outdoorsy books that he loves, and then I reorganized the rest of them into the book little shelf next to it. Um, yeah, just tackled under his bed, um, pretty much went through his CDs, gave his CD player a bit of a dust, and as you can see, hoovering under his bed. Okay, so I've just had a little bit of a break and I've just come back to something out of Alistair's room. I want to show you all the stuff that were pretty much car boot selling, charity shop, just giving it away um, as well. Um, so yeah, this is basically two empty boxes, keeping that. This is, you know, Star Wars theme has basically long gone. Alistair's just not into it. So we've got all their stuff, all these nice books. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to sort this out and then I'll give you a bit of a tour. Okay, so here is an overview of Alistair's room. I feel like it is so much cleaner, fresher. There's more space. Um... Yeah, I really obviously gutted it. It didn't take me too long actually, surprisingly. Um, Organised the bottom here, just got rid of a few bits he didn't need. Um, hoovered around, obviously dusted. This was very cluttered, this area, so I've organised this better. Put his Dirty Bertie books up here. He really likes these books. And then also his Tom Gates book. Just organised it. This little crate is from Matalan. We've got a smaller one as well, which we have in the off, um, in the living area. Pencil cases, stuff that he, you know, uses regularly. And then also this one, pencil case with pens and squishies. You know what the kids are like. They have loads of little, little bits. So bookmarks and pictures go in there. Um, and then over here, pretty much is full of Lego. I just tidied up the top. He is such a hoarder of like paper, just different scribbles and all sorts. So I organized a bit of it, which I've put in this over here in some folders. And most of it was just ready for recycling. Pictures are from Cineo, I think it's called. He's had those for ages. The, um, the shelving unit is from Matalan Direct. If you're wondering, we've had it a couple of years. It's nice, it's a nice slimline desk, as you can see. Um, I actually do need to get him a proper desk chair and I will do that soon, but a little light thing here. I actually haven't touched this. I do actually want to get him a large cork board to go along this wall because I think it would be really useful. And then, yeah, just organize this area a little bit more, sorted out his books. He had so many baby books, so many books that he just doesn't read. But um, I got rid of a few of them. I've kept um, a few that I thought that we could all read together. We've got Christmassy ones, Harry Potter book. We've got some um, sort of Where's Wally books. And then obviously the dinosaur that books we have quite a few of those again they're still quite a favorite of ours um and then over here i just changed it up because pretty much he had all star wars books up here so it's more into nature and stuff that he loves 
being outdoors. Um, lots of old school books. Some of these ones that um, his uh, nana gave him. And then obviously I've just tidied up his bed area. Sorted out this area. Just dusted. Went through his wardrobe up here. This section was really full of dressing up clothes. Again, he just doesn't dress up anymore and a lot of the costumes are from years ago and they're just too small for him. The only uh, costume I did keep is this one, Frankenstein one, which is last year's Halloween costume. There's nothing up there apart from an old project which I could potentially use for Violet when she goes into junior, so I'm keeping that at the back. His jelly cat, elephant, and then I've arranged his books. I only got rid of a couple of books because he quite likes these. It's just a hodgepodge and then his uh, Tom Fletcher books and then David Walliams he enjoys. Um, his school uniform's there pretty much and then we've got long sleeves, short sleeves and then at the back we've just got a couple of bits that he got for his birthday recently. And, and then again we've got a few games at the back. His animals, I know we've we've had these animals honestly since he was about two years old and they still play with them. You know when they have toys that they still pull out? These animals are like the ones they still pull out. And then we've got a couple of bits and bobs here. And then in this section, like I mentioned, we're gonna be changing this. I actually didn't go through the drawer, so I'm gonna let him do that because they are pretty manic. And I just tidied up this area really, dusted it. And yeah, I can't remember where his lights are from, but the these are the picture frame shelves from Ikea. I think this might be from Argos um, and then I didn't really do much to this because he's got a couple of bags that he uses and then the coats are just ones that he still fits into and he wears through the winter or the sort of lighter rain coats but yeah this is pretty much his room I'm really happy with how it turned out I sorted out underneath there as well it's just a lot more organized and dust free but yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm hope hopefully he's not going to freak out that I've like moved everything and got rid of stuff. But it just is a lot cleaner. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have. Um, I will be tackling Violet's room at some point. Of course, that's always on the list. That room. Um, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all soon.